Okay, so this is going to be a pretty funny and, uh, I guess, interesting video to talk about. So if you take a look in the top right corner here, you can see that we have 20,000 Stellar Jades along with 30 tickets, the Star Rail Special Passes that you can use on limited character banners and the limited light cone banners. Every time I open this up over on my Twitch channel, everyone is always surprised, like, wait a minute, Envy, how do you have so many Stellar Jades in Honkai Star Rail? The game's only been out for about a week and a half and they're confused well yes you are able to get all of this completely free to play i believe there is a post going somewhere on reddit saying that you're able to get at least twenty-eight thousand stellar jades and i think like 25 something tickets and i'm going to go over every single source that i've managed to go through to acquire all of these stellar jades tldr i have not wished on the zila banner nor her light cone banner i'm saving for the next upcoming banner which is the Jin Yuen banner that has ting yun uh, March 7th and Su Shang on it but uh let's just go through all the sources and see if there was anything that I ended up missing or you guys might have missed to get some more stellar jades quickly to wish on these banners before they end up going away okay so let's quickly start with forgotten halls this is where pretty much the bulk of my uh stellar jades have come from every time you go through forgotten halls and acquire all these stars on certain levels you're able to acquire rewards first time rewards and I've acquired at least approximately 2,000 of these so far with a couple more left over i'm at 31 out of 45 so if i do end up getting those last few stars i will be able to acquire a thousand more stellar jades which is approximately 10 pole 10 poles is 1600 so almost enough for a 10 pull right there i also wanted to quickly mention that the forgotten halls unlocks once you hit trailblaze level 21 you get a message from pom pom all you have to do is reply to that text message show up to the parlor car and you are able to unlock the forgotten halls no need to rush or stress about this right now you have one through 15 it doesn't reset it's a one-time reward kind of thing take your time after floor 15 that's how you continuously farm for stellar jades it resets every two weeks for the floors beyond 15. okay quickly moving on we have weekly rewards for the simulated universe currently per week i am getting 105 stellar jades for just completing the 5,000 score but there's something that people probably didn't know if you go to the index top left and click on blessings choosing different paths you can see a number up here it'll show you how many cards you ended up getting and acquiring i haven't really gotten that many elation cards however if i did end up getting 18 and getting the new ones you get 80 stellar jades per tier here so pretty much whenever you're doing a simulated universe run and you see like a little book icon in the top right it means you don't have that card yet you should take it to complete your index to get more free stellar jades each one for every single section here 320 that's two single pulls right there per category on top of that you also get a couple for curios so new trinkets you end up finding throughout your runs i'm still missing quite a bit you get 30 per curio as well now speaking of that of course every time you clear worlds for the first time 120 for the first time clear world 5 120 and of course world 6 first time clear also 120 so i did get a couple stellar jades from the simulated universe if you guys didn't know that well there you go if you're missing if you're like 10 wishes away from zila this might be what you need right here all right moving on very quickly there is a shop in every single world including the space station if we talk to them and buy out pretty much everything or just the rewards over here you were able to get 50 per every other like tier so 100 150 200 200 over on the space station there is also one in the urelo 6 territory and on that planet in boulder town this guy right here you talk to him buy out the shop you'll also be able to get more stellar jades as well as the luafu which is the second planet and the last area you will be venturing to in your journey on honkai star rail i've managed to obtain over i believe 600 stellar jades just by buying out this shop so if we quickly run over here talk to the pawn broker and see what i've purchased on the shop here you can see here 100 200 300 400 500 600 stellar jays just by purchasing some adalons for my fire trailblazer so 
all this stuff does add up make sure you guys buy out the shops as well quickly moving on here um i'm not gonna try and do the math on this one unfortunately but achievements are something that just happens very passively you don't really think about it i've unlocked over 170 achievements here and if we just take a look really quickly to see how many they're actually giving they give quite a bit all this adds up five 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 i know we're looking at like fives and tens and stuff like that but trust me all these fives and all these tens and all these 20s do add up so alongside achievements going around and collecting chests in the overworld i've maxed out pretty much every single one of my chests will also net you quite a bit of stellar jades i don't want to do the math and try to find out how many exactly but as you can see in the top left we've collected every chest there there cloud forward every single location we've done those there are also repeatable chests that do respawn um you can do them up to like four times a day depending on your location so if we end up going to the luafu the cloud forward on the left side here there is a repeatable puzzle you can do continuously get a bunch of chests and come back the next day and do it all over again there's also some other spots on the luafu where puzzles do keep respawning so keep that in mind but i feel like a huge bulk of my stellar jades did come from puzzles and alongside that was the achievements as well all right so we are trickling down here on the last few sources but pom pom also gives you a couple of rewards 50 there 50 there another 50 50 100 on that one so just leveling up does passively get you some uh some stellar jades as well as doing companion quests so do make sure top left click on these do the companion quests for characters serval um hook arlan asta etc these characters after you finish the companion quest will join the star rail here on the parlor car and you can talk to them talking to them does net you a couple of stellar jade somewhere between like five or ten some free stellar jades left over of course there are quests that give you a lot of stellar jades on top of that and most importantly just doing your dailies right here will give you about 60 i think right so three days you'll be able to do a tent pull and doing your operation briefing you can see you periodically get stellar jades just by doing that but i think that's pretty much all the sources that i've uh that i've acquired my 20,000 stellar jades i know it doesn't seem like a whole bunch i'm pretty sure that the quests do give you a substantial amount without even thinking about it or looking at it uh but yes this is pretty much all the stellar jades i've gotten so far in a week and a half of playing honkai star rail completely free to play i am saving for the next banner and if you guys were thinking about quickly hopping into honkai star rail and getting the zila banner before she ended up going away then you too will be able to get enough stellar jades before that now do keep in mind i did buy the shop reset down here for these stellar passes i do think that these are worth it but we haven't spent any money yet and i believe there's still like 8,000 more stellar jades we can end up getting in this patch allegedly so with that being said I hope this video was helpful or informative in some way. I didn't really think I was going to make a video like this, but a lot of people are just very surprised whenever they look at my Stellar Jades. My main sources, I want to say, was probably Achievements, the Forgotten Halls, and I guess Chests and Questing. I guess that's pretty much where the bulk of all that came from. Hope this video was informative in any way or shape. Join me over on Twitch if you have any questions about Honkai Star Rail. I'm live every day. Feel free to ask me anything. Thank you guys for watching.